instead of a, a dreadful place to get through. Hi, Taylor. And so we can somehow craft our lives or craft our minds to see each day as a Friday afternoon. Wouldn't that be something? And so maybe whatever's happening on the outside is stressful and chaotic. But can we approach whatever it is with lightness? And if we can't, can we shift ourselves to change roles, to take on a new task instead of carrying the burden of a job or even a relationship or an obligation to a mortgage. We truly have choice in, a, in most senses. Choice in how to be in a situation. So all together, take a full breath in. Be connected here. Know that we're in this together. And then exhale all your air out. One more inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And tabletop, press up, fill up with air. And then round your spine, look down, exhale. Good, sink your belly, inhale, look up. And then round it out, belly button up towards your spine, squeeze it up. Good, sink it, look up. And then round it out. Good, match your movement to breath. So this makes it a meditation, moving meditation, look up, sink. And then round it out, exhale. Do you more here, make this intentional, move with breath. Round it out, chin into your throat. Good, one more breath in. And then flat back, neutral spine. Right arm straight out, left leg back. Stay here and breathe. So nowhere to get to. See if we can approach this practice as being just right here. Take a full breath in. Stay here, breathe out. Good, now reach and stretch, spread your fingers. Stay, exhale. So sometimes it's harder, more challenging to stay than to move, notice it. Engage your core, breathe out. One more full breath in, really sit down. Lift your left arm, right leg, right to it. Exhale it out. Good, now stretch it forward, kick your heel back at the same time. Good, stay, exhale. Nice, kick and reach. Breathe out, keep pressing through your right hand. One more, stretch it, release it down. Full breath in, look up, downward dog, press it back. Good, so just first dog, walk it out, come up and down on your toes and then press back through your heels. Get a hamstring stretch here. Good, take a breath in, drop your head, breathe it out. Good, one more breath. Empty your air. Now bend your knees, chest towards your thighs, stay here. Maybe pull your hands back a little bit. So your chest is almost like laying on your thighs. Get a stretch here through your back, drop your head. Nice, full breath in, empty your air. Now high plank, pull it forward, stay here and breathe in your high plank. Nice, press through your palms, lift your hips up a little bit so you're not crumpled down. So lift your hips straight back, good. One breath in and then low plank, hold your low plank, breathe here. So nice strength, hold low plank. And then up dog, breathe in, hold your up dog. Good, chest forward, maybe lift your legs off the mat. Nice, bend into your elbows, pull it forward. 
downward dog, roll over your toes. Nice work, full breath in, drop your head, breathe it out. Good, breathe through your nose, you guys. So release that nitric oxide. Nice, take a big breath. Exhale, lift your right leg. We're gonna move a little bit. Stay here, breathe out. You can drop to your knee if you want. High plank, hover your leg. Low plank, come on down. Upward duck, downward duck. Lift your left leg, stay in flow, breathe out. Now high plank, hover your leg. Low plank, that's an exhale. Upward duck, downward dog. Lift your right leg, do it with breath. Stay here, breathe out. High plank forward, hover it, low plank. Upward dog, downward dog. Lift your left leg, stay, breathe out. High plank, low plank. Up, dog, down, dog. Breathe in, drop your head, breathe it out. Nice warm up. One more breath. Empty, bend your knees. Step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, fold. Sweep up, one breath, full and deep. Fold all the way down. Good, now sweep up again, big rise here. Stay, breathe out. Now, little back bend, reach it, hips forward. And then while you're back bending, reach your right arm back a little bit. So you're getting a little more stretch through your side. And then other side, reach back, almost like you're gonna do backstroke. Good, reach it back, other side. Good, and then other side, left side. Back to center, breathe in. Fold all the way down. Halfway lift, high plank pose. Good, bring your right knee to your right elbow and then hover it back. Right knee, right elbow, hover it back. So you're in your plank, high, good, back. Tap elbow, back, stay on the right side, tap it in, take it back. One more in. Kick it back, hover it, low plank, upward dog, downward dog. Inhale, exhale. One more breath. Bend your knees, jump to your hands. Halfway lift, fold. Sweep it up, one breath this time, all the way back, fold down. Halfway lift, high plank pose. Good, lift your left leg, hover it. Low plank. Lift it up. Good, bring your knee to your chest. Kick it back, sorry, knee to elbow. Left knee, left elbow, I forgot what we were doing. Kick it back, so high plank, left knee, left elbow. Kick it back. Again, elbow, kick it, hover. One more, bring it in. Back to hover, now low plank. You got an extra low plank there. Up dog, downward dog. Nice when the teacher forgets, you get extra stuff. Good, bend your knees here. Jump to your hands. Halfway lift, fold. Sweep up, one breath. Chair pose, sink it low. Good, now squeeze your legs, hover. Nice, so little chair here. Take a breath in and then sweep your arms back, airplane arms. Good, bring it in, bicep curls, squeeze it and then kick it back, triceps. You don't need weights to really engage. Use your muscles, buys. Kick it back, tries. Do it again, bring your buys in. Triceps, good, back. Nice, Jim's got weights, triceps. I like it, bring it in, buys. Kick it back, tries. Again, biceps. Last one, triceps. Now sweep up, full breath in. Chair pose again, Jim, you can hold your weights. Keep your weights, and then cactus your arms, exhale. Good, inhale, lift it up, so a little back work. Cactus your arms, exhale. Do it again, lift it up. Cactus your arms. 
Good, one more. Cactus exhale. Now chest press forward. Open it up. Good, press it forward. Feel this chair action. Open it up. Good, keep sinking in your chair. Press. Open your arms. One more, press it. Now reach up, stretch. Fold all the way down. Halfway lift. High to low, push up, empty your air here. Upward dog, full breath. Downward dog, right foot, warrior one. You can always sneak in that little push up if you want. Good, breathe it out. Nice, open your chest, reach it back. Lunge forward. Nice, one more, big breath. And then airplane your arms back. One bicep in. One tricep out, sweep up center, low push up to the mat. So we're gonna add that in flow. If you can grab your weights, Jim, I give you extra credit. Good, downward dog, left foot, warrior one, sweep it up. Good, stay here, breathe out. So press through your right pinky toe on the mat, straight right leg, reach it up, big breath, and then airplane pose, pull it back. Good, one bicep curl in, tricep kick it back, sweep it up, low push up all the way down. So we're gonna start one breath, one motion, upward dog, downward dog, right foot, warrior one, inhale up. Good, now sweep it back, triceps, pull it in biceps. One more tries, now sweep up, Low push up. Maybe hover that leg coming down. Up, down dog, left foot, warrior one. Nice flow here, stay with it. Good, sweep it back, triceps. Pull it in, buys. Take it back, tries. Now sweep up all the way. Low push up. Upward dog. Downward dog, right foot, go again, let's do it. Good, triceps back. Now biceps in, kick it back, lift your arms. Low push up to the mat, up dog, down dog, left foot, warrior one. You guys having fun? Smile, <laughs> good, triceps biceps, kick it back, tries. Now sweep it up, one breath at a time, low push up. Upward dog, downward dog, right foot, one more round, all the way through, up. Good, pull it back, tries. Bring it in, buys. Kick it back, sweep up, low push up. Up dog, down dog, left foot, warrior one. Good, sweep it back, here we go. Biceps in, triceps back. Now all the way up, low push up. Upward dog, downward dog, stay here, nice work. Inhale, exhale. One more breath, empty it out. Lift your right leg straight up. Good, meet a right elbow, come in, lunge forward. Now kick it back, meet a right elbow again. Chest over the front of your mat here. Lift it up, lunge it forward. Here's your core work, feel it, kick it up. Bring it in, right elbow, last one up. Step it through, crescent lunge this time. Breathe out, good, so you're up on your back toes, stretch it, get through that back foot. Inhale, lunge, now knee to chest, kick it up. Land it back, exhale. Do it again, knee up, squeeze it. Step it back, land. Again, knee to chest, step it back. One more breath, hands to heart center. Inhale, warrior three, tip it back. 
Good, lift your back leg and then slowly peel yourself open into half moon. Good, so open your arms wide. Nice balance here. And so whatever you want here, one option is to take your left arm, lay it on your left leg and then shoot your right arm forward. And then with breath, lift it, bring your elbow into your side. Straighten your arm out. This is just an option. Bring your elbow in, keep kicking through your back heel. Straighten your arm, pull it in. Again, straighten it, squeeze it in. One more out and then hands to heart center. Big breath here, tip it back down, warrior three, bend into your right knee. Good, one breath, land your foot back, exhale. Sweep up, nice work you guys. Open twist to the right, right to a twist. We're gonna move, sweep it up center. Open twist left, lunge through your front knee. Sweep it up, twist it right. Again, lift it up, twist left. Stay with me, center. Ring it out, last one up. Open up, warrior two. All right, so land in your warrior two, lunge forward, and then arm circles forward. So let's get into some shoulders. Really working the arms today. Good, keep lunging. You can even come up on your front toes, engage your calf a little bit, and then backwards. Nice work, you guys. You come back to center, lunge it out. Reverse pull it way back. High plank pose. Good, right hand down, spin it, side plank, lift it. And then drop to your bottom knee, lift your top leg, arm forward, bring your elbow to knee, squeeze it in. Good, straighten it out, kick through your heel, bring it in, here's your core. Again, straighten it, squeeze it in, elbow to knee. Again, lift it, pull it in. Good, last one, kick. Now squeeze it in, tabletop. Keep that left leg hovering. Pulse your heel to the ceiling. Good, so little tiny pulses, nice smooth motion. And then bring it in, abs. Squeeze your elbow, your uh, knee into your chest. Good, now kick it up, glutes. Bring it in for abs. Kick it up, glutes. Bring it in, abs. Last one up, glutes. Release all the way down. One breath in, look up. Downward dog, press it back. Breathe in, drop your head, breathe it out. Lift your left leg, need a left elbow. Kick it up, need a left elbow. So chest forward a lot here, kick it up. Long breaths, exhale forward. Again, kick it up. Knee to elbow. Good, again. Bring it in. Last one up. Crescent lunge. Sweep it. And then exhale, lunge. Good, so every movement has a breath. When you're in a still pose, as you breathe out, lunge forward. Come up on your back toes. And then exhale and lunge. Good, one more breath. Stay for the exhale. Right knee to chest, kick it up. Land it back, exhale. Do it again, use your core, engage. Step it back. Again, lift it up, open your chest, spread your fingers, that helps balance. Do it again, engage your hands. Good, exhale back. Lift your knee. Land it back. Last one, kick it up. Hands to heart center. Big full breath. Warrior three, tip it down. Inhale, press your palms and then open it up. Lift your right hand up to the sky. Nice job, you guys. Nice stretch here. And then if you want, drop your right hand to your leg. Lift your left arm out. That's how you can tell if your right leg is really extended. Lift it up and then pull your elbow into your side. 
straighten your left arm, pull it in, exhale. Do it again, straighten it, squeeze it in. Good, keep kicking through your heel, pull your elbow in. Good, one more out. Now hands to heart center, come back to warrior three, bend through your left knee. Take a breath, lift your leg, step it back, exhale. Sweep up, inhale, open twist left. All right, with breath, here we go. Sweep it around, big arms, open right, lunge it out. Do it again, big arm center, twist it left, exhale. Again, lift, twist it right, sweep it up, ring it out, last one center, warrior two, open it up, lunge it out, you guys, unshrug your shoulders, and then arm circles forward, little arm circles, notice smooth motion, again, you can come up on your um, toes, front of your foot. Good, and then backwards, exhale. Nice, lunge it out. Now reverse, pull it way back. High plank pose, windmill your arms. Good, drop your left knee, left hand, side plank. Good, lift your back leg, shoot your arm forward, and then bring it in, elbow to knee. Good, kick it out, inhale. Exhale, squeeze it in. Do it again, kick it back. Pull it in. Nice, stretch it. Squeeze it in. Last one out. Bring it in. Tabletop, right leg hovers. Kick it up. Get that nice pulse. Heel towards the ceiling. And then abs, bring it in, pulse it. Good, kick it up, heel up. Bring it in, squeeze abs. Kick it up. Bring it in, abs. Good, one more, lift it up. And release down. Inhale, look up. Downward dog, press it back. Nice job, you guys, walk it out. And just come back, align yourself. Take a full breath in. Exhale, drop your head. Raise your right leg, lift it. And then tap your toes to the mat, exhale. Again, lift your back leg. Tap your toes. Lift your leg nice and straight. Tap it down. One more lift. Step through, crescent lunge again. Breathe it out. Nice, lift it up. And then bend through your front knee. One more breath, empty it out. Knee to chest, kick it up. Step it back, exhale. Good, again, knee up, squeeze it. Land it back. Again, knee to chest, step it back. One more big lift. Airplane pose, pull it back. All right, we're gonna move in our airplane. Take a breath, breathe out. Now sweep up, knee to chest, back to airplane, squeeze your arms. Do it again with your breath, like your air, inhale's lifting your knee, and then exhale back to airplane. Do it again, lift your knee with your breath, like a string from the ceiling. Good, bring it back, airplane. What can you engage? Lift it, spread your fingers. Airplane, triceps. Good, last one, big breath in. And then dancer pose, catch your left foot. So transition right into that dancer, kick your foot into your hand. Nice work, really kick. So pull your leg away from your butt. Nice work, you guys, take a breath. And then if you want, tip it down, exhale for nutcracker. Just an option, lift it up, knees together. Tip it down, exhale, pull your foot into your hand. That's your point of balance. Good, lift it up, knees together. Step it down or kick it down, sorry. Lift it up, knees together. Kick your foot. Good, one more. And then exhale, lower it down, release your foot. 
Sweep up knee to chest, tree pose, left side. So nice little balance series here. Stay with it, you guys. Press your palms forward as if you're pressing against a wall in front of you. Nice work. So spread your fingers, open your chest, and then grow your tree anyway. So maybe a twist front to back. Or you can expand, grow your arms up overhead, tippy toes. So the idea here is to get in a place where you can wobble. You can even fall out, but you can maintain a sense of grounding, of being. Rooted, stable. Good, next inhale, lift your arms, lift your knee, and then chair pose front of the mat. Good, big breath in, sink low. Good, one more breath. Come all the way down to your back for bicycles, yogi bicycles by request. Elbow to knee, straighten each leg, kick it up. Good, back and forth, you guys. Little bicycles. Kevin said this is good for you. <laughs> good, straighten legs, go to your pace, your degree. Good, and then knees into your chest, rock and roll. Back to chair, come on up, right into it. Take a breath in, and then sweep your arms to the right, exhale. Good, sweep it up center. Sweep left, exhale. Again, sweep to the right, center, left, last one up. Fold all the way down. Halfway lift, high plank pose, right hand down, spin, side plank, lift your hips, and then any variation you want here. So you can drop to bottom knee, you can raise your top leg, tree pose here if you want, stretch your arm, anything you want in your side plank here. Just head back, hips forward for a nice alignment. Good, take a breath, lift it. Stay here, breathe out. Two more, empty your air. Now biggest lift, high plank. One breath in, low plank, upward dog, downward dog. Lift your left leg, stay in flow. Tap your toes down to the mat behind you. Lift it up, stretch it. Tap your toes down. Do it again, lift, tap your toes. Last one up, step it through, crescent lunge. Breathe out. Nice, now reach up, lunge, one more breath, empty your air, knee to chest, kick it up, squeeze it, land it back, exhale. Do it again, lift it up again, spread your fingers, use your hands to make you balance. Good, knee to chest, step it back. Again, lift it up, this is core work too, step it back. Last one up, airplane pose. All right, so dynamic movement in our balance series. Breath in, empty your air, sweep up, bring your knee with you to your chest, and then airplane pose, pull it back, engage your triceps. Do it again, sweep it up. So set your gaze on one point, airplane pose. These are long breaths to move you. Inhale, knee to chest. Airplane pose. Good, one more big breath in, and then dancer pose, right side, catch your foot. Kick your foot away from you, and then breathe here. So stay here, or if you wanna move, again, option to come down, nutcracker, exhale. Bring your hand towards your foot. Lift it up, knees together. Exhale, kick your foot into your hands, tip forward. Inhale, come up, knees together. Again, if you want it, exhale, tip it down. Inhale, lift it up. One more, exhale, let go of your foot. Sweep up, knee to chest. Tree pose, right side. 
Nice, so ground yourself here, press your foot into the mat, press your palms forward. And be right here, but grow your tree. So the idea is to get comfortable in the wobble. So intentionally make yourself a little shifty. See how you can be in the pose, even when you're wobbling. And so transferring that into life as things come up or come down on us, how are we being? Can we find a place of calm and stability amidst the chaos and the noise? It's not easy. This is just our practice. This is our little training ground, this little rectangle mat. Good, next inhale, bring your knee to your chest, sweep your arms up, chair pose, come down. Good, big breath here. And then come all the way down, second round, elbows to knees, back and forth, yogi bicycles. Good job, you guys, back and forth, kick it out. Knees in, elbows in, squeeze it. And then knees to chest, bring it in, rock and come into yogi squat this time. So nice little squat action, open it up, press through your elbows into your inner knees, uh, this is so good. Maybe get your wrist stretch here, backs of your hands together, so double whammy. If you want crow pose, if you wanna play with crow pose, plant your hands. Make a little shelf with your triceps. You don't even have to come off, off the ground. You can just leave your feet there. Just get that feeling of float, kind of tip forward. Just an option. Fun to play with a little bit of floating. Good, and then come back to center whenever you're done. No rush, lift your right arm to the sky, twist it out. Look up at your thumb here, really get a nice twist. And then other side, left arm up, twist it out. Good, back to center. And then press yourself all the way up to stand. Roll yourself up, big breath in. And then let's take eagle, right arm under, right leg over. So wrap it up. And then either take cactus arms if you want or wrap your arms. Totally up to you. We're gonna do some crunches here. So take a big breath in, nice balance, squeeze your legs. And then elbows to knees, crunch it in. Inhale, lift it up. Crunch it in, exhale. Nice, do it again. Even if you're wobbling, stay with breath. Squeeze it in. One more up. Empty, squeeze it. Now sweep up, knee to chest, big breath in. Airplane pose, bring it back. So I wanna give you opportunity for airplane squats. We haven't done these in a while. So if you want, Squat it out, little one-legged squats. Totally up to you guys if you want it. Good, squat it out. Good, and then come back to center, sweep it up, knee to chest. Release all the way down. Arms by your side, press through your palms. And just find stability here, press your feet into the mat, powerful pose, so unshrug your shoulders. And just know that you're okay right here, nowhere to get to. And so I call this powerful pose because it's literally telling your brain that you're not threatened. You're sending the message that you're open, that you're confident and in a place of not threat. So your brain can release good neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine. We operate on chronic levels of 
cortisol, that stress fight or flight. And so we need to reset. We truly need to recalibrate and reset our nervous system. Good, sweep your arms up, big breath in. And then left arm under, left leg over, eagle. And so wrap it up just to your degree, sink low, arms together or cactus, breathe in, and then elbows to knees, exhale. Inhale, open it up, sweep, and then exhale, bring it in. Again, inhale, crunch it, last one up, squeeze it, sweep up, knee to chest, and then airplane pose, pull it back. Good, open your chest, squeeze your triceps. And then again, if you want those one-legged squats, feel free. Up and down, little pulse up and down. Good, so good to take the asymmetry out for injury prevention here. Good, knee to chest, inhale, rise up, full breath. And then fold all the way down, exhale. Good, halfway lift, flat back. High plank pose. Good, left hand down, spin it, side plank. And then anything you want here, lift your top leg, lift your hips, bottom leg to the ground, anything you want, reach it up. Good, full breath. Stay for the exhale. Nice, one more high plank pose. Inhale. Low plank, upward dog, downward dog. Nice, lift your right leg straight up. Bend your knee, stack your hips here. Peel it open, uh, so get into that front of your hip here. Almost like I think of like a Barbie doll's leg, how it can just pop off. <laughs> I don't know why I always think of that. Almost feel like your leg is gonna like pop off your body here. So really pull it open. Take one more inhale, half pigeon right side. Nice work. I'm glad you guys probably appreciate my analogies. <laughs> oh, all right, come on down. Exhale it out. And so breathe into this and put some space between your thoughts. I don't know if you saw my little post on Instagram, but it was a picture of the old game in the 80s, Frogger. Do you guys remember that? It was on Atari. And I think it was like a video game too, just a big one of those like, arcade games. But anyway, Frogger had to get across the street and there were like five lanes of cars zooming at him. And my little description was that these cars are like your thoughts and they're just zooming on this five lane highway. And you're a Frogger, you're that little frog. So you can either sit there and watch the thoughts zooming. You can just be safe on the sidewalk and watch your thoughts. Just see them as cars zooming by. All right, there's another thought. There's another crazy thought of mine. And there's another one. And you can describe them any way you want. They can be the thoughts of the caliber of a Mercedes or a Lexus where they can be a, you know, dump truck or a sanitation truck or a trash truck, you know, whatever, whatever zooms by, you can sit there and watch, or you can be like the frogger who's jumping, trying to dodge all the cars and intermingled with your thoughts. I like to have that visual because sometimes we dance with our thoughts and we're in that traffic and it's like danger, <laughs> don't do it. But we do it so often, our thoughts are just chattering constantly, zooming by all different kinds of cars, all different colors, 
all different speeds and there we can't control them. But we can choose whether we're going to be the frog that jumps and tries to get across the street and jumps in the cars. Or we can sit there and just observe our thoughts. We keep distance and space. really only when we can create distance and space that we can actually hear. And our thoughts are, it's like a constant monologue going on and we can choose to Pay attention and hear every word, or we can create some space and hear what's in between the chatter. Walk your hands up slowly. I realize I'm just talking and chattering too. <laughs> uh, maybe you'll hear me instead of your own thoughts. Good. Kick your right leg up and around. The irony, right? And then drop your right leg, lift your left leg, bend and stack, peel it open, that Barbie doll leg again, lift your knee, and then half pigeon left side. And I'll tell you just one more thing, and it's a little antidote of my day and life. You can convince yourself of your thoughts. You can make your thoughts reality so easily. You can go down this path of what reality is in your mind and convince yourself of something completely. And it might not be true at all. I'll spare you the details of what I convinced myself of, but I was certain about something, certain, certain. And it was, a, it was a story in my head. And that doesn't mean we shouldn't attend to our thoughts or analyze or problem solve. That's not what I'm saying at all. But the, I think the issue problem for me at least, if I'm being honest, it comes in when it's on a repetitive loop of this is how it is, this is what's happening. And it's usually fear-based. Mine was, it was a fear. It was a, a health-related fear. And I convinced myself that something was wrong. And usually it's catastrophic, what we convince ourselves of. And it's a sad state when we come out of it and realize the stress and strain and suffering that we just put on our, on our bodies and our minds. And so space, create space so that your thoughts don't get ahead of you, so that you can recognize that thoughts are not always reality. And slowly walk your hands up and press back down dog. Thanks for listening to my uh, thoughts <laughs> about thoughts. Kick your left leg up and around. And then release down. Come all the way to your back. We made it down. So bridge or heel here. Press your feet down into your mat. Lift your hips. And so opportunity to take a leg up. Let's get a nice hamstring stretch here if you want. And so press down to lift up here.
and then switch sides, other leg up if you want. Just keep squeezing your legs, lift your hips. And release down, Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees apart like butterfly pose. An option here to press your feet, sides of your feet down and lift your tailbone up. I kind of like this little variation. Just lift your tailbone to the sky. So your hips are up, a little groin stretch. Again, just an option. Bring your knees into your chest, take an inversion. So shoulder stand, make a little tripod with your elbows. Or if you want handstand, headstand, try it against a wall if you're feeling it. Friday. Just pull your hips up out of your ribs here. And slowly release down, bring your knees in. Take a twist right, look left. And so drop all need to control here, not even your own breath. Just let your exhales twist you. Come back through center, twist the other way. Good, back to center, take a full body stretch. So again, take up a lot of space on your mat, feel spacious in your body, spacious in your mind. And just be here in Shavasana without any purpose, without any need. Be here for the sake of being here. For the present, right here, nowhere to get to, nothing to accomplish. Just be grounded in this moment. Shavasana.
And slowly bring movement back. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your knees in, roll to your right. And slowly come up to seated. Just feel your breath in your body. Feel your body at ease. Notice the space in your mind. And take that space between your thoughts off your mat. So maybe have that little visual of Frogger crossing the street. All your zooming car thoughts going by. And just practice calm and ease, even in the face of zooming cars, even in the face of whatever chaos and commotion comes up. And be with a little bit of stillness, of openness and ease. And so together, take a breath in. And exhale all your air out. And hands to heart center, inhale. And together we set. 